Hi guys and welcome back. If you're brand new to our channel, we are Court and Meeks. Since October 2019, we've lived full time in our self-converted camper van named Didi. We're currently on our second road trip after the pandemic put a halt to the first one. We set off in September last year with Turkey in our sights, hoping for some winter sun. Let's just say it's not been all sunshine and rainbows. In Greece, we needed our clutch and flywheel replaced. And when we finally reached Turkey, our clutch pedal decided to super glue itself to the floor. Then January brought torrential rain and our roof started leaking. Out of the woods, thinking we'd had enough bad luck, we decided to give our girl a glow up. All her rust and dents were completely fixed and she got a fresh paint job. She was looking the bomb. But sadly, the bad luck monster wasn't done with us yet. As we were driving down the Dacia Peninsula at around 35 miles an hour, a wild donkey came out into the road and we collided. This vlog shows the true reality of the hours after the crash. Oh my god, I'm shaking. Um, so, we've just been driving down the road, not even going quick, and a donkey just ran out from the bushes across the road and we couldn't stop quick enough. And it hit the front of the van, the donkey's fine and it ran off, but the whole van is absolutely Absolutely crushed on the front. Like it all happened in a split second coming around a corner, the donkey's in the middle of the road, there was no time to react. These guys were behind us and they said it could have easily been us. It was just it was already there when you came around the corner and it was running out. So I just can't believe this is actually happening. I feel so bad for the donkey. They're just wild donkeys, the guys are saying, and they apparently just kind of like are always around here. People like chuck rubbish and food out at the side of the road in their cars and then they come down, but... I think I'm just in shock. Oh my god. I'm still shaking. Yeah, we it was just absolutely. A second or something like that. It's just no reaction time. I know I'm worried about all the others. Oh god, and people drive so quick. Oh, I need to um, I need to get our insurance details. Uh, um, so we're getting a tow to Dal Dalaman, um, which is two and a half hours back. The insurance knows about it. We're waiting for a contact from the non-UK team. Um, the insurer put the details of the crash into his 
in it with system and he said that it's coming back with uh, could be a write off based on what I've told them and I said no it's not happening um, and yeah I don't really know what to say right now or to do just very lucky that these guys were with us uh, when it happened the friend of the donkey waiting and then so this is where we came around this corner here and then the donkey was there and then we stop yeah you can see the water all down the road from our um, windscreen wiper fluid from where it happened I keep I keep saying like should I have slowed more or not but like looking at the corner there's there's well what could I have done I slammed the brakes on and tried to swerve out the way but can't stop a van like that instantly it's like Turkey's just like like it's, it's lovely but we've just had such bad luck We've had all the body work completely redone. Two the, weeks ago. Not eat, was it? Yeah. Not eat. And the rust completely done. A full respray. And now look at it, man. I just. Your mind just can't stop thinking, like, wait, what's next? What? Another hotel. Like, we've got two weeks left on our visa, if that. We're going to probably have to overstay. Will the insurance cover it? got work like I don't know what to do we can't do anything right now no, we just have to wait for get another tow truck the one thing that we do know though is in, in Turkey anything's fixable yeah they do say that it's just whether the insurance company will agree hmm. well we'll just disagree I'm not allowing their their system that they've typed in a few details to say oh it might be a write-off they've not even seen photos they've not seen any mechanical. like mechanical evidence or not had an expert look at it like how can you say something's a write-off without even seeing a photo of the damage i literally yeah. like it's, it's ridiculous isn't it but so i'm just not taking that at all yeah i just i just don't want to like I'm already imagining a scenario where the garage says, yeah, we can fix it, but it'll cost X and the insurance is like, well, it's cheaper to write it off, so no. DD man. And we were just talking this morning about, oh, well, maybe we'll just leave Turkey like a few days early because we're on our way off of the Dacia Peninsula now heading north and we don't have that much to see along the way. So let's just get across to Spain. That's our ultimate goal. Literally in the blink of an eye everything has changed I just wanted to pause here and confirm that this is not the donkey we hit. This little guy is his friend, who waited at the side of the road for over three hours watching us, which only made our hearts hurt even more. We didn't capture it on camera, 
but we all went searching for the other donkey to check if it was injured or needed a vet, but there was absolutely no sign of it. Then, just as we were about to pull away, this happened. Another one just came back, but we don't know if it's... They look happy to find each other. I don't know if that's the one we hit or not, but... I think it's the one we hit. She's driving. Yeah. And the only light we've got on the dashboard is that the bonnet is open. So that is not a bad light to have on, considering we know that. <laughs> there could be a lot worse lights showing. Yeah. We have a problem that the uh, passenger window now won't go up. The mechanic opened it to talk to the uh, tow truck guy. And because there's a big dent, <laughs> in the door, the window won't go up any further than that, so we're going to have to sleep with it open. And they don't have any tape for us to tape anything in it, so if it rains... We're a bit fucked. We could get wet. <laughs> and cold, it's going to be a cold night. If it's already cold, going to be cold. And we're in quite the tilt as well. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. We're here, we're safe, we're in our home. Yeah. The only option we've got. <laughs> We're gonna have to, I don't know, tape it up somehow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The window, the window is there. There we go. It's better than fully open. Now it's just ventilated. Yeah, I mean, it'll... The slightest breeze will knock that off, but we can maybe like, we can do something, can't we? We'll just survive. Trying to get through to our insurers. I have three numbers. This is the third time I've been on hold. This is costing a lot Your of money. Your call is important to us and we are grateful for you waiting. I'm sure. We won't be much longer and we'll be more than happy to help in just a moment. Just a moment, my um, arse. And what happened was I phoned Sterling who put me through to make a study who are our underwriters took all the details and everything like that and then they said the non-UK team will be in touch with me because I'm in Turkey that was nearly seven hours ago and they haven't been in touch I gave them both my numbers the UK and the Turkey one and when I tried to phone their number there was no answer so I'm now trying Sterling again to try and get through to someone to put me through to make us mark a uh, study to put me through to the non-UK team. It's a nightmare. And you can't call Sterling or we make a study through you your you Turkish number. No, I can't call out of Turkey of with my Turkish number. So yeah, 35p a minute or whatever. It's expensive, whatever it is. Great stuff. All donations, please make them out to <laughs> Meeks and Courts at pleasehelpus.com. Two. If I forget to tell you tomorrow, I'm really proud of us for how we're dealing with this situation. Yeah. This drama. We don't drama. do this drama for fun. This is not. What, this is not what we like to do. Is like, what other option do we have? Like, are we gonna sit at the side of the road, road and cry and like, oh woe me? Like, whether we worry about it loads, cry about it loads, like get annoyed at each other because of the situation, or get stressed and. Like, none of that is going to change the fact of what's happening under the bonnet or in the bodywork or whatever. Okay. problem? We don't have any problem? Inside the engine? Okay. Are there problems outside the engine? Yeah. Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we have many problems outside. Don't we? Uh, serious ones or? No, that's all about bodywork. Okay. 
and like sensors and, and lights and things. Uh, yeah, we need a new light. Okay, we are going. You're going, okay. Um, and that's good. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I, think so. I think that just by the work. Is that a normal order? Is that gas in it? So, do we need more tests or? Uh, actually, it's just for uh, paperwork. Okay. And uh, it's for checking engine inside. Yeah. Anything else? We'll still need checks. It, it looks nice. Okay. For now. Okay. Okay. So that was literally just a diagnosis check. Yeah. Of what the computer brain yeah. says about the engine. And no errors. No. Hello. 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 We call. Our body worker, yeah. he will be here in five minutes. He'll be here? He will check. Yeah. You legend. Thank <laughs> you. He is a legend. Oh. <laughs> he called him. Thank you. Okay. Thank You're welcome. You. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, they checked the brain, the engine brain, and they said that Didi's brain is okay. They called the bodywork guy who was sick and they've been calling him and he said he's gonna come in five minutes. So to make a list. To make a list of the parts that he thinks need full replacement and then they can i guess check the systems and see where they can locate them from are they in turkey are they in europe in germany do they need to import them and then i guess from there we maybe get a rough time scale but so far we've had like two cost. weeks four weeks five weeks and uh, the cost as well and the cost yeah so i mean he's coming today rather than in two days and that's a win and the diagnostic said her brain's okay so that's another win so obviously doesn't mean we're out of the woods yet, but they're very good signs. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry it's maybe loud with the big road, but we've just had the body guy come in, um, as Courtney mentioned earlier, and he's done like an inventory list. It got very long, but he said to me that, if you come with me. Start here. Okay, I'll start here. We need a new door, we need a new window, because the mechanism is broken, um, and it will clean off the donkey poo. <laughs> um, we need replaced, we need the wheels realigned as yeah. part of it. We need obviously a new light. We need this replaced, this replaced, this replaced, this replaced, this operated. Yeah, so this bit of metal that's like so bent. Cut it all out and then re and then re pull it back out. Yep. Um, this re replaced. And then as part of it they will fix the the broken so they're gonna, when replacing this, yep. fix that. That's the only thing in the engine bay that has moved at all. Yep. Um. Pieces just keep falling off. But yeah. And we're also gonna get a new um, indicator light cover, which has been broken since we bought it <laughs> three so years ago. For what's happened, I think like that's a bit of a result for us if they can fix it. We're quite um, lucky. We should be getting a quote in half an hour apparently, which then our insurance opens in 10 minutes. So hopefully I'll be able to phone the insurance and say, they think it's fixable, this is the quote, can we go ahead with it? And they'll go, yes, of course, James. And then we need to find somewhere to stay. Oh, shit, yeah. But, oh. oh, our baby. Hopefully she's gonna be okay. What? What I did like was the guy was like, he what he didn't look phased or shocked. He was just like, yeah, replace that, replace that. So it makes me think either it's routine yeah. or he's done a lot of this before. Yeah. Either is good. Yeah, and we asked him about the chassis, right? Do you want to just explain that? Yes, we asked about the chassis and whether like we were like worried it was warped or anything like that. And he seems really confident that it's not. Um, they will do all the checks that he says as part of the work. So. He said the rebalancing of the wheels, like whether the brakes need rebalancing or anything like that. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention as well, our uh, windscreen wiper reservoir. Um, <laughs> got crushed. Got crushed and that's what was leaked everywhere. But he said that the radiator, um, he said hot, cold, water working. So the radiator he thinks is working. So how does he know that? Because we've had the brain put in, haven't oh, we? Oh, the brain guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's no leaking like uh, coolant or oil or anything so we have had a bit of a result if we can get it fixed god what's the saying a brush with death 
What? Not us. Dee Dee had a brush with death. Dee Dee has had many brushes with many things on this trip and we keep saying that's enough Dee Dee <laughs> but genuinely that's enough right now. And final thing we asked him about the colour and he said no problem. And we were like but it's just been painted two weeks ago. Yeah. Like, no problem. We were like do you need us to find out the, the make or that it was a mixed colour as well so it wasn't just like a paint colour that comes from a, a can. Yeah like you know a standard colour from a can. And he said, no problem, we've got a sample bottle. And he was like, no, it's fine, we'll... I don't know, maybe he, they'll he, use he a just, computer he system just, to get the code computer, or something. So. Yeah, I think they'll just figure it out. It's fine by she us. She might have a couple different shades in there. <laughs> as long as we don't have a white door and a white bonnet. I, I think, like, let's, let's mismatch it. Let's have no. black, white, green no. and blue. Why no, not? no, no. But I am feeling a lot more positive right now. God, yeah. It's like two different people in the van. Yeah, it's just like, ah, <sighs> relief. Okay, brain's okay. Body's gonna hopefully be okay. The guys seemed happy. Now we just need to find out how we're gonna be okay still being here. We can do it. We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. Okay. Goodbye, Dee Dee. Be safe. We will see you in a month. This is the worst one yet. Yeah. Right, I'm going to give these keys to them. <laughs>